Here you go. Ready? Alright, hi, my name is Elliot Bartel. I'm Gordy Frey. And we're here at the Akari Free Library. Uh, we are building a new latrine for the library. As you can see here, we're finished with the foundation already and working on uh, building the the walls for the for the main rooms. <coughs> so why are we why are we doing this? Yeah, just like uh, we need to support the community as well as the people around the area. Even the the purpose of the, this project is like to have a really good sanitation area for the students as well as the people who come in the library from study. Yeah. 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 Okay. <coughs> and what? Where are they going to the bathroom now? Bathroom. Where, if they need to use the toilet, where do they go? Mm -hmm. For the girl toilets like this, that side and this one, and uh, here is like office. Okay. Toilet, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. like where do they go? Where do they go currently? Right, right. right. What toilet do they use right now? Currently, yeah. yeah for the current the student, they just use like near to my brother house. It's like a. Uh, 15 minutes from here in the center, yeah. and, uh, I'm into the toilet area, so and uh, we need like, it's like uh, a bit disturbance for the student when you ask them just to go there and uh, do some stuff they want and uh, others issue, like, but now when we have this one, hopefully the student will like, be in good mood for coming, studying and uh, other stuff like, because they have a I mean, it's privately place for having some some wish like uh, during the do some stuff like go toilet or whatever. Yeah. So to have this project here is like, yeah, it's make huge impact, positive impact to our, I mean, main project like that. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, you can see is the the former <coughs> toilet that was used for uh, a long time. Yeah. Uh, you can see it's in pretty bad condition. Mm. Yeah, this one is like uh, now it's like uh, 20 to 30 years since they just built it. As you see, the area, and, and I mean the real situation of the old one. That's why we decided like, to close up so as to start the new project. Like, because it's not conducive for people to use. Yeah. It seems like. Uh, in danger zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not only unclean, but it's yeah. also unsafe to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, actually, even the material used is like timber, and it, as you see, the termite has started to destroy and the whatever. So, that is really, really make us like challenges for the project, even, even people use. So, we thank God and the Lord and the, you know, you are your colleagues for, for supporting us to have this new project like and uh, really take us a long time to plan to have this project and uh, it's costful to us but really we make like yeah serious work for us and uh, for community especially and the uh, others people who came here and use the library seriously that's a really really good one awesome project yeah, well, we're happy to help. Um, I guess I should say where, where I'm from. I'm, I work, I'm from the United States. I work for an organization called Heal International, and we perform public health outreach education um, at our project sites in the United States and also here in Tanzania. And <clears throat> for the last uh, couple of months, I've been living in this area, um, running a volunteer program uh, where we go to different schools and community groups and we talk about you know prevention of diseases that are common to the area that are really affecting a lot of large uh, parts of the population um, including HIV, malaria, typhoid, tuberculosis, um, how to prevent these diseases, how to get access to uh, treatment and care for these diseases and um, we focus on the youth because we realize that the youth are much more eager to learn a lot of the time than than adults are and that also it's uh, 
more beneficial in the long term to teach a young person uh, about disease prevention and uh, healthy practices uh, because because they're the ones who are going to be leading the community in the future. So, <clears throat> um, one thing that we focus on is, is uh, hygiene and sanitation as a way to prevent uh, waterborne and uh, foodborne diseases that affect the the uh, gastrointestinal tract, such as you know typhoid, yeah. cholera, hepatitis A, and there's there's a lot more that uh, that frequently affect a lot of the kids in this area when when uh, there's an outbreak or an epidemic that, that comes through here every few years. So, um, I mean, as as you know, this is why we talked about doing this project. Like. Mm. Uh, one of the ways that you can prevent these these types of diseases is by having a clean place mm. for people to go, a clean and safe place to use the toilet, and also, especially important, to wash your hands afterwards. Mm. So, um, when I discovered this place, uh, I realized, you know, how important it is to the services that that you and Surfo is providing mm. uh, to these kids and to the community. Um, you know, it's really important to have a place to to go after school and to study and just to be with other people who are, you know, going through the same struggles that you are. And um, when I heard that there's no safe sanitation facility here and that this is something you guys have been struggling with for a while, like, um, I just thought like, well, I work for a public health organization, you know, even though we're small, like maybe there's something we can do to help uh, with this. So. Um, I'm kind of talking to you and the camera at the same time. This is kind of weird, but <laughs> we decided that uh, you know this this could be the way that uh, Heal and Surfo mm. could begin our partnership for the future, mm. and you know maybe if if Heal brings volunteers next year, which is still the plan, that uh, we could uh, base our our program operations out of out of your facilities, out of the, yeah. the free library, and this project would not just be a one-time, yeah. you know, one-off. run out of memory oh sorry it would just be it would be like the first step to to how we work together to provide uh, public health outreach campaigns together in this community and in other communities as our organizations expand together yeah, yeah still on addition on that concerned what we explained concerned the hill international activities like uh, base project and whatever even us we have like community reach out program concerning their educating them in the health pro I mean program especially sanitation and the, and the, and the nutrition as well as counseling HIV is for for those who are already affected in the and the thought about the secondary primary concerning the effect of HIV and uh, how is HIV may be transmitted whatever that's wh what it, we do for educating them and to know the symptoms of HIV as well as how they can prevent themselves as you know they are secondary students especially from four to advanced level it's like uh, age of, of, of adolescence so we need them to give them education concern so it's currently a good time for us as in the, in the, in the international to join hand together to share such idea of the program so as to promote and to, 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 to spread the word to the people around the Akeri, Meru district, Arusha region, in the probably Tanzania mainland as well as uh, Iceland, Zanzibar. We need to reach all over the community around the Tanzania, as you know, and uh, we need to educate them concerning the program, I mean the health project, that is very important for the any nation which want to develop, because when you have people who are strong and they capable for work, really they just uh, develop their economy. While when you have uh, people who are get sick and uh, have those problem like, so it's, it's probably not able to work and they make the production. That's what uh, our, our idea to start the health project so as to assure that people they get education concerning nutrition and other stuff like so as to to, to, to assure that the people are good in, in, in physical and mentally so as to work 
to, 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 I mean, to fight for the three enemies, like disease, ignorance, and the poverty. That is our enemy. So we need to work on that so as to assure that three enemies are fighting. So thanks, and uh, we are mostly welcome Hell International to work with us, and uh, we, are, we are still appreciate for the work you've done for us, and uh, still we need you to continue to work with you. We are well committed, and uh, we are need to work exactly with you, so you are most welcome. When you have some question, as Hill International don't hesitate to ask us, when you need like write some project, especially in this area and others area, be free and uh, ask us and uh, we, we, we just share idea and uh, how just we can work for the project. So for me, that's like the you know, most important. Ah, uh, it's not this one. So like, uh, <laughs> so like, uh, what do you guys do you have to say like uh, to the people that donated, especially for this project? Because there are a lot of people that have donated for this project so far. Yeah. Healy, Healy International, including inside. Yeah. So like, what word uh, do you guys have to say for them? Yeah. Let's start with you. <coughs> for me, what uh, I just speak on behalf of our management, especially my father and others people who work together, is like, we don't have like, something to back to them for their donation but what we we're gonna say like we pray for them and we still appreciate wherever we go in wherever we are we just speak about their donation for our Tanzanian community not only for the safer management not only for the Akeri community for Tanzanian community because students who came here get such kind of education it's one go another area for for work or for educating others. So when you educate one person, you educate all Tanzanian people. Because today is student, tomorrow is uh, workers, it especially does. civil, I mean, pu I mean uh, public workers. So we just like educate the Tanzanian community. So my, my, my message to them, that is like, thanks a lot and the God bless them and the most welcome to continue to work with us especially when you want to come to Tanzania, we are able to receive them, we are able to work with them hand to hand, and uh, we are sure that they are be happy and uh, helpful. When we go back at home, they just explain more about our work. Thank you. Okay, Elliot. Uh, um, I guess I'm just really amazed at, at like the response that we've gotten um, when we, uh, announced that we were doing this project and that we need support for it <coughs> um, just the immediate and like just the response that we got from so many people who many of whom have never even been to Tanzania and never have seen you know the conditions that, that many people live in um, in, in the developing world uh, people who um, are friends of mine people who I've never met before um, it's just really amazing how each of you have, like, recognized that, you know, uh, it's not always, you know, something like a school or a hospital or like a health clinic or houses, you know, things that are, uh, really fashionable to, yeah. uh, contribute to in the, uh, in the world of, uh, humanitarian aid, but, um, it's things that, you know, that the community... Uh, expresses a need for things that are are basic to human needs and one thing that's basic to human needs that people take for granted um, in the Western world is having a place to dispose of your waste of human waste um, and that's uh, something that each of you recognized when we announced this project that you know this is a really basic need that is yet to be met here and like saying like I want to support this like you know as much or as little as, as you were able to like it's just like it's completely unexpected mm -hmm. and you didn't do it for recognition or for a thank you but I want to make sure that I recognize you right now and thank you and show you everything that we're doing 
with the support that you're giving. So, um, you know, to all, all the friends who donated grants, uh, Amanda, Laura, uh, Baby Girl, uh, my brother Jared, um, uh, Chris Pazowskis, and your whole family, you did, you all uh, have really exceeded any expectations, and we're really, just really happy and, and touched by what you've done to help us here and the community. And uh, we'll make sure that you know exactly, you know, uh, what it was that you that you supported. So, thank you.